Fitz Buses, your local bus company serving your football team. Buses run every 10 minutes. Avoid the traffic. Don't get stuck in the delay. Get Ipswich Buses today. A single from only £1.20, a return from only £2. Find out more information at www.ipswichbuses.co.uk. Ipswich Buses, proud to partner with Talk in Town. <laughs> Hello again, my friends, and you are my friends. Welcome to your Ipswich Buses Fans React Full Time Show. Yes, albeit a different time, uh, how we normally rock and roll. But as you know, family comes first, and when you move, you got to move. So, as I asked for in the pregame show, or I would have asked for in the pregame show, pints and points, my friends, pints and points. And boy, did they deliver the goals and the explosives today! Exciting stuff at Portman Road. If you went, let me know how you saw it. If you've seen the game. Um, let me know what you made of it. If you heard it, let me know what you made of it. Lots of people who have been leaving comments throughout the evening. Uh, I'll get to a couple of those now. We've got Michael Mayhew. All credit to McKenna for giving faith in Jackson. Four points off the playoffs looking good now. Jason Clayton, good result against a potential banana skin. Another clean sheet and a reborn striker under McKenna. Stephen Peck, a good three points for the town and good team performance. Good to see Jackson on the score sheet. Lloyd, in a way, he deserved his standing ovation. Put a shift in. He absolutely deserved that standing ovation, Lloyd. Uh, and still, sober, watching the Brewers. Can't believe it, Amp. Good evening, all. Love to know where that Caden Jackson's been hiding all this time. Easily his best game in a town shirt. It was. Uh, obviously, a big shout-out from Lloyd to, oh, Mike D. Everyone, even everyone, I'm liking a Saturday Night TT show. Good man. Well, if you are liking it, give us a uh, a, a like in the YouTube uh, part of the box where it's, you know, it takes one second to use that little index, index finger of yours to, to hit the like button. We have got, we have got Ben, we have got Matt, we have got Rich, we have got Coxie, we have got Alex, and of course, it is the Fans React show, so there will be a live link. Be quick. Uh, it is Saturday night, so I don't want to make it uh, too long of a show. And before we bring in the two guys, I like to name the shows these days, in case you haven't been noticing. So I want, what would you call today's show? What should this show be titled? Uh, the funniest or, or the best will, will will win. Let me know in the comments. Right, Alex, welcome in. How right. are you? Very, very well. Very, very well. Um I much prefer the Saturday night when we've won 3 0. Um, Absolutely, yes. What, what we've had over previous years. So, you know, progression, progression, what I've been asking for is what we've got. So, mm. yeah, I can't ask for much more tonight. Progression is absolutely what we did get. Everyone played well. And you're right, when Saturday night, three points, three goals, playing great, everything is just that little bit better. Music sounds better, beer tastes sweeter, Ant and Deck are funnier. <laughs> Everything is better. I wouldn't quite go far about in deck, but yeah, it's, it's 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 a much more chill Saturday night, and it's much nicer to be on social media on a night like tonight than it has been over the last uh, God knows how many years. It absolutely is. Um, evening, everyone. Didn't know you were you 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 were on now. Call it hello, my friends. Oh, I like that one. Hello, my friends. How did you see the game before we bring Cox in for his thoughts? How did you see it today, Alex? You were wet, you were windswept, but how did you see? Yeah, um a very good, very solid professional performance. You know, um we 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 had a game plan which we executed. Every everyone knows their jobs now. They're all fighting for it, they're all fighting for each other. Um, mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I like, uh, well, we'll get on to this uh, later on, but a couple of things that I did like, you, you can see they're together as, as, as a group, you know, um, one, I don't know if anyone else noticed it, but, um, when we, I think Jackson put in the assist for the third goal and Wolfie was pointing at Jackson's back to the mm -hmm. North stand, which I thought was really cool. But then when, um, you know, when we when we came off at the end of the game, you know, McKenna was had his arms around Wolfie for a good, you know, sort of very much doing what he did with Sam Maudie, but then with Luke Wolf and them. So it just it just shows to me the togetherness and the unity that's sort of coming into that into that group right now. So long may it continue. The togetherness, the unity, yeah, absolutely. It it really is. Colin says, keep the faith. Um he's he's somebody who's long, you know, kept the faith, but who, who who really stood out for you today? If if you had to you know name somebody who 
stood out from a team that was just tremendous as uh, as a whole. Yeah, I, th- I think for me, you know, I think the obvious one is Caden Jackson, um, and, and now he's got to go on and stake a claim to to get the shirt long term. Um, I thought Sonny Aluka had a really good game. Um, mm-hmm. You know, did, did what he needed to do. Um, Wolf, Wolf again was just another absolute beast of a defender. Walton had Walton kept, Walton kept the Senate at one nil. Yes, absolutely, he did. Yeah, he did. It might be in the words of Outcast. I apologize a trillion times. I'm sorry, Mr. Jackson. Oh, but I am for real. Coxie, welcome in. <laughs> How are you this fine Saturday evening? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, all good. Oh, Tom James, a match Cade in heaven. I'm going to write that one mm. down. That that might be a winner. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> a match Cade in heaven. How did you see today, Coxie? Did your hair get wet? Uh, yeah, well, well, yeah, with the driving around, even my hair got wet today. Yeah, yeah, cheeky. Good grief. <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah, it was a wet old day, though, wasn't it? It was wet. Yeah, me, I had the privilege of sitting next to the great one today, the Colin. Colin, we um, we went upstairs because the driving around, I, I, mean, I don't know from, from your vantage point, Alex, but it, it was the rain was driving into the sub Bobby. It was bloody awful. Yeah, it, 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 it was awful, literally. It was because it was, it was dry. See, we can be all right down where we are if the road yeah. straight down. But when it when it drives into the stand, we've got no hope. It was horrible. Yeah, yeah. And it, it was one of those days. So Colin and I went upstairs to the sub Bobby. Um yeah, different. You saw you saw you see a lot more from up there. Um yeah, I mean Colin, there's absolutely no let up to that man's passion. He's just as passionate when you sit next to him at football match than when he's on here talking about Everything, so Bobby. Yeah, he's really, really chuffed today. Um, funny enough, before we started, Colin and I were saying, well, Colin actually said to me, he said, uh, Coxie, when was the first time, or when was the last time we got to go early on? I said, I haven't got a clue, mate. And then mm. Sod's Law, 20, uh, 42, 42 seconds by the BBC website, uh, Caden Jackson popped up. And uh, yeah, when, when he first, first hit the ball, I thought, well, he's placed it well, but I didn't think it quite had enough power. But yeah, they went in and... Uh, Happy days and a really good for having to it. It's a pity you weren't there, Governor, because uh, you know you 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 have always um, fought his corner, Mister Jackson. My boy and, uh, came he through, did, he, and he did come into it. Not just the goal; he's two assists as well, as Alex has alluded to. We're getting to a bit more, no doubt, very soon. Uh, yeah, well, this is it, and obviously you, you, you've had the finish there. He, it was a great finish for the first goal because mm. he also he had a lot to do, Coxie. Still, he had to take a touch inside the defender, and then. It's still at some distance. It's a really, really nice finish inside that bottom left-hand corner, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it, 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 it was the first goal. So I can't remember what Cruncher actually said on Radio Summit tonight. It's his first goal since about December. I can't remember what he, what he actually said. And, uh, yeah, for, for somebody who sort of, you know, haven't sort of been in form goal-scoring-wise, he, he, he took that bloody well. You know, credit where it's due. That was fantastic. Absolutely, credit where it's due. We've got uh, Jason Clayton. Don't be surprised though if Jackson gets rested on Tuesday, and we yeah, see Bond so. back. Different players, different games. Emerson Wharton proving again what people play. He's in the team. The good doctor. Evening, folks. Grow in today. Hats off to the whole team, but kudos to Jackson. This is what you paid for, for many moons back. Stoked for him. Like getting in new players under McKenna. Sharon Guest, we cannot criticise today's performance. Absolutely, we cannot. It is everyone played well. Positive vibes only show tonight, Sharon. Just frustrating that we remain in ninth. I hear you there. And other teams around have, have, have games in hand. Um, right, let's hear it from... Let's have Ben. I hear just on the back of an absolutely fantastic match. Um, that's got to be up there with my top two. Definitely top three games of the entire season. Best home match I've seen. Man of the match for me with that question. And I think he's actually in danger of kind of pipping West Burns for me for the man in the match of the entire season. Um, it's got to be Wolfenden. I thought Wolfenden was absolutely solid. He did not put a single foot wrong the entire game. He was calm, collected, um, allowed the rest of the defenders to run. Um, him and Danassin together are just absolutely fantastic. And Luco, absolutely brilliant. Ran and ran and ran till he couldn't run anymore. And I've got to say it, and <laughs> after everything I've said about Gavin Jackson, um, probably his best game I've ever seen him play in probably two and a half years. So I think the job he was asked to do, which was to run at the defence um, and just be an outlet, it just worked for him today. Um, Walton, absolutely solid, caught every ball coming near him, some really good saves. It was slick, it was fast, it had a plan to it, the plan worked. 
they had a 10 minute spell in the first half, I think, where they really kind of came at us and we held really firm. Um, the player that didn't quite do it for me today was Piggott. It just didn't come off for him at all. It was actually so bad I felt sorry for him. Um, you can argue that he's 50% success rate holding up the ball free Caden Jackson to do his thing. So maybe if Caden does play, he has to do it with a partner rather than alone. I think that brings out the best qualities of what Caden potentially has to offer. Um, the referee was, was the fucking worst refereeing performance I've ever seen of a professional referee. Um, but he kind of calmed down as he took complete dominance of the game. The second half, it, it was, we were actually so on top, it was almost showboating like a practice match. Um, Wes Burns, again, absolutely brilliant. Um, I love the substitutions. I really like that, you know, we brought on Selena, we brought on Chaplin. Um, who kept that really high line and really pressed their defence and kept it away from our defence. Um, it was the most complete performance of the entire season at home for me, probably up there with the, the first Wiccan game. Um, so well done Ipswich. It, it was cold, it was miserable, but kind of feels like the sun is shining today. So three points, so I think from what I saw coming out, five off the playoffs. Um, I'm impressed. It's, um, I'm smiling. Who knows? Can we do it? Can we? Who knows? Can we do it? Can we do it? This from a man who once cried, the season is over already for me on a Fans React full-time show. Lots to unpack there. Alex Piggott didn't do it for Ben. Did he do it for you today? He tried. He tried, I think. Um... The, the poor lad's got to be so low on confidence. I don't think you can sort of say, did he do it, did he not? Because the poor lad doesn't seem to get a run of, run of games. I think, he, I think it's almost like he's trying too hard, if that makes sense. Trying you know, too hard. He just like, if he just relaxed and sort of played the game he can play. Hang on, Mark Dowling's in the room. Marky D! What are you saying about that boy Caden then, Mark? Come on, let's be having you. <laughs> anyway, back to you, Alex. Sorry, I just saw Mark Downey's name for the first time. I was like, "Here he is! Here he is! Here he is!" I, I, I think, I think there's, I think there's a player in there. I really do. You know, you, you saw him put. He when he was down in front of me, he um, put he put the ball through their defender's legs and tried to run to it. So there's a there's a player there, but I just think he hasn't had. He's gone from being the main man at Wimbledon. You know yep. the the, yep. the, the, the the he's not. The focal point of the team anymore, where Wimbledon he probably was, and I think the poor, I think he's just trying so hard, but and it must be so hard for him to get his mentality right because he he doesn't know whether he's going to be in the he's not even on the bench, you know, he might be out of the eighteen on Tuesday, you know, and it just it... Yeah, but you say that Alex, but then Caden, you know, proving today when you get the chance, you got to take the chance, you know, Coxie, my my gran, she said, good game, I don't make that picket. Ben did say, though, maybe he's running occupied space for Caden. Is there a partnership there, really? Because, you know, that was Caden Jackson's best game in a long time, if ever, in a in a blue, a white, a red, any town shirt that we've had over the last few years. Mm -hmm. This is a partnership that really could be cultivated, Coxie. Yeah, as has always been said, obviously, Jackson does need a partner. He can't do the lone striker himself. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, I don't know if, if Piggott is the answer. You know, you would say that he's more okay. familiar with Norwood, so probably he would make a better partner for him. But, you know, fair, fair comments there by uh, our Alex. I do think he's probably he's trying too hard. He, he was a bit unlucky. He did hit the post today. He did. Um, yeah, it's, he can't do no more than that. But uh, He's yeah. far from becoming the nearly man. That's the problem. And the, nearly. You know, our, our, latest, our latest nearly man, yeah. He so nearly good, gets good that analogy. header. Nearly gets nearly, that. Yeah, yeah. Nearly, nearly got scored. That he hit the. You know, I I love the guy. I think today he played really well. When I when I heard Ben the video when it came through, I was like, mm, I don't know. I, I thought I thought I thought Pig did 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 fairly well. But he, he did mention the, the the substitutions, Alex. It is an yeah. embarrassment of riches, isn't it? When you're what two two nil up at home and the two subs jumping off the bench isn't a striker that's not played in two years like Burton did. I, I think I think they brought him on in the end. Yes. Um, but it's it's sort of. Selena and Chaplin. Yeah, yeah, it it, it 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 is embarrassing, isn't it? And I think the nice thing 
for, for me is that we make substitutions and you're not weakening the side. You know, you, you'd still, the amount of times um, we'd have Ginny Esther come on or <laughs> Holly Hawkins and it's sort of like, right, well, we're not... Good going vibes to... only. <laughs> we're, 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 we're not going to... That goal we need isn't going to come because we've, like, brought the, the pub strikers on, you know, whereas now it's sort of like, we don't... We don't weaken the we we don't weaken the team at all. We make a substitution. Any and the thing is, you got to look at our sub bench and think those players would get into any other League One, possibly lower Championship side. Yeah, you know, and it, it's just so it's just so refreshing to like be able to sit there and watch good football. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's it totally is refreshing to have. To and have so really I, good football. I was thinking about on the way home, you know, the way McKenna is and the way he's gone about his business. We spoke about with Paul Cook, didn't we? I think Ben said it quite a lot that, you know, he's he's losing that credit. Every result he doesn't get, he's losing that credit. And the, Whereas McKenna's doing the opposite. Every result McKenna's getting, he's building that credit. So that if we do have a wobble, because let's face it, it's football. There will be a time when we have a, a wobble under McKenna, but he's building that trust, building that relationship. Oh, and gosh, that yeah. Credit in the bank. It's, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every time he, he every time he goes, every, the old the old saying is when the league is zigging, the, the best teams are zagging. Every time McKenna goes to zag, when you think a zig is what's needed, Coxie, you think, oh, I don't know. Is this, the, is this the moment he's, you know, fucked it up? And every time it comes off, like it's... Um, just a game before a manager. He, he is, as Alex says, building that tr- credit, building that trust. I can't put a foot wrong at present, can he, really? Yeah, long may it continue. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Like, last week we was on the show with you and, uh, you know, we announced this, the, the game and we thought Jackson came in from nowhere. It's sort of, it was a jaw-dropping moment. But you know, And, and to, to today, you know, he, he changed it up again, you know. He, like mm-hmm. Alex said, he can he can pick it without even being in the eighteen. The last what was it two two, two ga- games? yeah two games yeah yeah, yeah. two games and he's, he's back in and maybe he views pick it as a home a home striker perhaps, you know, yeah, for whatever that's purpose that's he's, he's trying to how he's doing and missed the pick yeah because obviously the last time he played was at home then he missed the two away mm-hmm. uh, and then he's he's back into into the lineup but again can't fault it Jackson as you say come back in against MK Dons tactically was probably one of, one of the major reasons why we grabbed that point at MK, looking back at it. And then today, a large, if not one of the, the biggest single component for a win. John says, loved it today. Five-hour drive from York, worth it. Good man. Safe trip when you do make it back up. Rob Law, McKenna is a class act. Best manager we've had in years. Nobody. Pickett's done all right for me. No worse than the bench brothers, in my opinion. That's, <laughs> hey, absolutely. Different strokes, different folks. Pickett for me is a great... I like Pickett. I think he just needs a little bit of uh, confidence in him. And, that, you know, that little bit of a loving hand on the shoulder. I think McKenna and Perk will be able to do that and, uh, you know, keep just keep his spirits high. I think it's a player in there, particularly this level. All he needs, just needs a goal. He needs a goal to go yeah. in somewhere and then he'll Off be, his backside. He'll if be any, off. Any, any type of goal, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, a Danny Haynes since Norwich handball. Doesn't matter what it is, how it is, just needs to happen. But, hey, maybe he's saving it for the playoff final. I mean, Bam Bam arguably saved his best game for the playoff final. You know what I mean? Certainly I mean, did, I'm just yeah. getting, getting ahead of myself here a little bit. But Jason and Clayton, we'll get into the league table shortly. Jackson was running into space between the, their, their left of the back three and the wing back when the wing backs pushed up. Um, Craig at Portsmouth, what's this? Talking town on a Saturday night? Yeah, because sadly we couldn't do it at our normal time. But I hope you're enjoying our little foray into a Saturday night. I'm not quite Ant, and these two quite, aren't quite Deck and Stephen Mulhern. But... We'll do our utmost to entertain you while you're in the mermaid. Right, let's hear from talking of is it Deck that's the, the smaller of the two? It's uh, it's uh, Matt Phillips. Hey Martin, I'm pleased that we weren't by the Alf Ramsey statue today with all the rain. The deluge that's come down. Um, so nice to be talking about the game in the dry. But yeah, absolutely brilliant. Really enjoyed the match today. Uh, really entertaining performance. Always looked like we were going to be the winners. 3 0, could have been more, could have been four or five, I guess. Um, Burton didn't seem to offer that much, which I was surprised by, considering they beat us 2 1 up at their place. But yeah, fantastic. I mean, is there any better sound than 
Ipswich being 3 0 up, points in the bag, and the North Stand singing. It really was good, really entertaining. And, you know, got to give the special mention to my man of the match. I don't know what everyone else thought, but I mean, Caden Jackson, I think that's got to be probably one of his best performances in the town shirt, if not the best performance. I mean, scores the goal within a minute. When was the last time he scored at Portman Road within a minute? I'm sure someone will be able to tell us. Um, so what a start. And I'm right in thinking he got two assists. I'm, I know he certainly got the assist on Selena's goal. Shout out, Bursant. Great to see. Um, but yeah, Caden Jackson, his confidence has skyrocketed, isn't it? Because he's gone from what? Training with the under 23s under other regimes to, you know, suddenly starting two games back to back, MK and today, and putting an absolute brilliant, almost 10 out of 10 performance. So I'm really pleased for him. Absolutely, absolutely brilliant. Great that he got subs and got the ovation that he did from the Portland Road crowd. Made me chuckle it was Norwood coming on because you're getting those flashbacks to Hurst meets Lambert eras. But um, yeah, absolutely brilliant from him. Other performances today, I thought we saw Walton at 0-0. Well, at 1-0, he kept us in the game with that save at the free kick. And then I think there was a couple of corners where he made some really blinding saves. I think there was one off the line. I don't know whether or not Walton saved that or whether or not Lee Evans got a, a head to it worth his weight in gold. And I've got, you know, you've got to agree that he's just too good for uh, League One, really. So we're lucky to have him in the sticks. So really good performance from him again. Um, who else impressed me today? Joe Piggott. Great to see him start. I thought he worked well with Jackson. Maybe the fact that Piggott and Jackson were together. Maybe there is a little bit of a partnership there. And that's what brought the best out of Caden. Um, I think Piggott was unlucky not to score. I'm right in thinking he hit the post. I couldn't really tell from my, my seat in the Pioneer stand, but I think he hit the post. Even though that was going back to the keeper, I think Thompson stuck it in the in the Alf Ramsey stand in the end. But yeah, it was good for Joe to see Joe plugging away there. And I thought he had a decent game. Wes Burns, I thought was good as well. Got his goal in front of his mum and dad. So I'm sure he'll be, he'll be pleased about that with them in the stadium. I thought he put in another great shift as well. Um, he really does offer something on that right-hand side, doesn't he? Muted, Martin. I am muted. One thirty tomorrow. You can see him again. Right. We have not discussed Walton, which we're about to, I think, thanks to Matt's wonderful words there. Uh, Burns in front of his parents, as Matt's just said. Aluko, we've not mentioned yet. Um, but I, I'm just going to highlight, really, while I was still muted, apologies, that one man says Piggott wasn't for him, and then another man says Piggott, I thought, played really well today. Highlights football in two videos. Just simply two guys in the same stadium, Mannix, looking at the same player, but they see completely different things. Yeah, I think I think what we've got to remember is that uh, yes, the, uh, the, the, the the bread and butter of a striker if you like, is to score goals, but a striker can just because a striker doesn't score doesn't mean they didn't play well. It, Very it, true. Very it, true. If Joe Piggott was running about, pulling defenders here, there and everywhere to create space for other people to run into, then he's done his job. Absolutely. But talk about not playing well there, Coxie. Matt says Burton didn't offer much. Is that unfair to us? Is it that Burton didn't offer much or is it, is it the K-Mac, the Per, and that the Super Blues were just too much? Everything everything they had to, to, to ask us a question with, we had the answers already in advance. We had the cheat code today. Um, I, I was going to say that's the only bit of what Matt said I would disagree because you know we went well, we were one up in what was it forty two seconds and you know Burton were pressing us back there and they were putting the Connor was you know, like I said sitting next to me saying that they play some good stuff but um, yeah second half no doubt about it I think it was they they didn't offer a lot because we played well and you know we mm. imposed our game which is great to to say because we haven't had any sort of our own identity so hopefully this is our own identity now hopefully we can now be as football teams with them push, you know pushing and actually you know enforcing our, our own style of play on people yeah but uh, yeah, yeah second half i mean matt was was right with that one that burton didn't offer a lot but uh, i think it's because we played our game i agree i agree yeah. i haven't looked in, into too much of anything for tomorrow tomorrow's show i've been spending all of my time preparing tonight and obviously most of today was spent running around trying to get something prepared for you guys and girls at home so hopefully this is coming through and you're enjoying the show tonight um but I've, what i have heard snippets of in terms of managerial interviews after the game alex was i think i heard and i have to check this so don't quote me this gospel mckenna saying uh that they expect the 
Burton to, to throw the kitchen sink at us uh, and, and come here and really just try and try and get at us. And maybe the way we, we lined ourselves up showed that. And again, it plays into that. McKenna has a plan for every other for every team because Jackson and Pickett, Pickett was was winning the flick ons and Jackson's pacing behind a high line. It was just it was it, 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 it was just beautiful to see. Yeah, and I think McKenna had identified, because he said, um, whether it was pre-game, post-game, but Burton were, you look at their goals against um, Bolton on Tuesday, they were set plays and sort of, um, you know, flick-ons and stuff like that. But even like they've, they've got the typical long League One throw-in as well. Yeah. They came unstuck yeah. with them a couple of times, but, the you know, we didn't. You know, and that that's, that's the thing, because, you know, you look at defensively, that McKenna's got that defensive unit playing really well. You know, you don't go, whatever, four games of it now? Yep. Without a goal, you know, you, and where, where we couldn't buy a clean sheet for love nor money early on in the season. Very true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, it, now it's seven hours, I think, without conceding a goal. Wow. Um just yeah, it just well yeah, it, it did need somebody with a bit of tactical. You know, I mean, like no, I mean they were ten, they were down to ten men, but then Paul Cook Chesterfield today did squander a two 0 lead to lose three two. I think they were ten men, <laughs> granted. Okay, but stop me if you've heard this story before. I don't shut up shop. Um, Sharon Burton were okay. They pushed forward and we took advantage of space that's resulted. Uh, and yeah, referees. Um, I think it was Ben in his in his uh, analysis. Well, hardly analysis. It's hardly Andy Gray, is he? Um, he <laughs> he uh, he said referees. Did you? How, how, do, how, how do we see the man in the middle? Alex is already shaking his head. Go on, Alex. You take this one. Diabolical, right? Absolutely diabolical. You know, he was. You could see Lee Evans got fouled. Um, you know, he just he was just a typical League One abysmal. Referee, he just he would just there was no consistency to him, you know. They 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 would come and flatten us, we wouldn't get anything, we went and do it to them, or we'd blow up. Absolutely diabolical. He wasn't the best, yeah. Yeah, there wasn't yeah, there wasn't it some Russell when the striker took near enough to get mugged, Coxie, by the cobble stand, and I uh have <laughs> to be honest, I thought what has my striker gotta to do to get a free kick today? Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, the the referee was absolutely yeah. If it's it sort of a down on the game, it's it was the referee. I mean, j just to prove. I mean, we won today, we won three nil, but um, you know the ref uh, and that's us winning. Well, the referee mm. was diabolical, and uh, well, yeah, yeah, they yeah. Talk, talk, talk the refs. Uh, Irvin is in the uh, in the chat there. Great song at the end there with Colin and I was speaking to Alex, Alex Griffin. It came along and got, done a great rendition there. Cheers, Ref. <laughs> there you go. Absolutely. Right, we haven't spoken about Aluko. Uh, Wolfenden burns in front of his parents. Walton we're about to get to. Uh, but if you want to have your say on any of those players or anything else today, the link is in the chat. Please do come on your say. The Fans React full-time show uh, and have your say in your own words. It's your platform. So let, let's get as many fans as we possibly can on. We've already heard from, from Matt, from Ben. We've got Rich still to come. Uh, Mr. Media. He's everywhere after after a game. We've Mr. Got, Multimedia himself, yeah. We've got the GOAT, who I'm sure is going to wax lyrical about Sonny Aluko. Um, oh, yeah, yes, definitely. You, come on, have your say on your platform. I will just say there was a poster in the chat that was posting spam links. Do not click on any of those. I meant to block them, but I ended up blocking Ben Moore instead by accident. So, the causes. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, so, Ben... My apologies. I then I I did I did then block the spammer afterwards, but Ben will be unblocked by tomorrow. He won't be unblocked by. He won't be show. taking part in the show this evening. <laughs> well, he just messaged me saying the ref was fucking shit. So I'll, I'll read that out for him. Well, he was. Uh, yeah. But yeah, just in case you saw his name in the chat as blocked, it was uh, by accident. I do apologise, uh, Lloyd. How did you see today? Yeah, I thought we played very very well. Good very man. Comfortable. Very comfortable. Uh, Second half to... comfortable. First half was a bit under the cosh when uh, we scored that goal, and then we sort of we sort of turned off. And then Why did you just say that? Just 
because I wrote down Lloyd, first 10, really good. Second 10 in the first buff, not so good. Mm-hmm. But overall, you know, because we got the goal early on, we were all, always in that little bit of uh, control, except when Walton had to make that really good save. Exactly. The only point, the only thing I can say is Burton looked like they couldn't score. And if they, if they even came close, Walton had a, had a blinder today. You can see why they got this guy on, on a free, can't you? That hasn't played in. Well, yeah, uh, since he's years. since he signed, he's he's um he's he's, he's vastly improved, and his distribution has been much better as well. Um, for the first time ever, I saw him quickly collect the ball and then look to throw it out quickly as possible. <laughs> when usually he gets smothered up and goes, "Oh, I'll just pass it sideways." But no, fair play to him; he had a great game. How did you see what was going today, Alex? Yeah, I was I was very impressed by him. You know, he he just breathed confidence. You know, I've I've gone to Portland Road a lot of years, and ever since Bart left, you know, you'd you'd always you know you'd you'd see the opposition get a corner or a free kick in and around that box, and you think this this is going in because you haven't got any faith in the keepers that we've had. You know, I think for the for the first time in a lot of a lot of years, you know, in a lot of years, we've got a, a, a keeper that breathes mm. confidence. Um, and, you know, I, I think that helps the defence as well, having a settled keeper behind them, you know. And he, you can just see that the, he just oozes quality. And I think he will get... I think, to Lloyd's point about him having signed and improved, you you got to think about this way. For the first time in his career, he's probably got a settled club yeah. for more than a season yeah. that knows he's number one. You know, he's possibly not, he, he's not in for he's not in for a season then they'll be going back to Brighton and you know going somewhere else, you know, the next year. He 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 can build, you know he's he's with us on, on a contract, you know, whereas before, yeah, he can go and have a good season somewhere, but mm-hmm. the next year he's got to go and build those relations again at another club, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. Not sorry, safety the, guy. Sorry, Lloyd. Like, sorry, Lloyd. Like, safety guy, late during today. I had a room with was out for the rest of the season. Yes, safety guy. Uh as I said on last night's show, he is out, he is, yeah. we believe, for the remainder of the season. Good to see Ben Moore finding a way around the uh, the block. <laughs> Back in the chat. I can't block Facebook users. There you go. <laughs> yeah. No, I love it. Well done, Ben. Thanks for coming back in. Um, Stephen Bill is very solid defensively and didn't look like a seeding even when they had a bit of pressure. Not even why when we play it out from the back. Some great composure we could and should have had five or six. Very impressive. We've got a Norris fan in the chat called Biscuity, but be 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 kind, guys. He's, he comes in peace. He does say. Or, or she say, uh, Biscuit, he says, I should I should say, really. I want interest win as a Norwich fan. Good luck at getting promoted. I hope we get relegated so I can go see you guys in the championship. Really, Biscuit will see a decent football team, Lloyd. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, I saw that they, they squandered that 1-0 lead they had and lost 3-1 against Liverpool. So, unlucky. Unlucky. And, Bur- and Burnley won and Newcastle did a great yeah. result. Yeah, and Watford won. Yeah. Watford won. Yeah. yeah. But yeah just to quickly add to Alex's point about Go for it. Um, and it's the goat's Walton turn. getting sent old. Um, he's got he's got a perfect back three in front of him. He's got defenders that are all working together. They're like a harmonious unit. They're just harmonious not, unit. All of them they, they don't slag each other off when they do anything wrong they're there for each other and i think for walton that's perfect because he knows he's got the cover and then they know he can help bail them out if they had a slight mistake i'm going to give away the i'm going to give away something really funny to people if i had the, if i had the time i might do it myself but we need to get some remembrance friends intro faces superimposed walton jd the wolf Edmondson, I'll be there for you. <laughs> Good Lloyd just saying that they're always there for each other. I just thought that's that's the friends intro. That's yeah. the friends. Just need to get them on a on the sofa in the middle of a bloody nowhere. Absolutely. <laughs> um, <laughs> Honey and Harvey, there we go. There yeah, you go. <laughs> John, yeah, John Smith, the four point gap is surmountable, but the one that is we have to have to take three teams who have that advantage over us. One may step up, maybe two, but we'll three. Lloyd, we appreciate you. Um, I hope you didn't get too wet in the rain. No, I got room. soaked. But one more thing, very really quickly. Obviously, Wickham and Cheltenham 5-5. Five, 5-5, five. Five, five, yeah, what a game. <laughs> what a game. 
what a hopefully game. They, they don't put five past us or we put five past them. So, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Look after yourself, Lloyd. Bye. Ben Moore putting a, put, putting a comment right after another spam poster. He loves to live dangerously, doesn't he, old Ben Moore? Literally, I nearly pressed the wrong button again and sent him back into the, <laughs> the blocked oblivion. Um, Neil Perks, £2. Thank you very much, Neil. Appreciate you. Makes That's a little bit of £2 on a Saturday night. Plows are most certainly on Super Blues. You can follow Neil Perks. He's wonderful lead by doing Super Chats now. Right. He's wearing a T-shirt that you may... How much have you drunk? I don't know. I haven't been keeping track. Why? What have I, what have I said? What have I done? Nothing on to all I can think of now. No, I know. Me neither. Uh, right, here he is. The man, the myth, the legend. It's the goat. Keep calm and trust the goat. Look at that. Hey, hey, hey. Look at Thank that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Matt Stannard. Is it? Oh, I see we got a thank for that abominable. Oh, that lovely t-shirt. Is it right? Beautiful. Oh, you got to be birthday, easy. Buddy. Oh, thank you, my darling. And also a big... Mwah. Big kiss to Sarah today. Give me a lovely picture of the great man. It will be going up in the Ipswich room, not the shed, the Ipswich room sometime in the next couple of days. Yes, yeah, she uh, passed, the, passed the fitness test. She was there today. Yep, she was. And it was yeah, great, great, great present. Great present, Goat. It looked great, am yeah, amazing. Very good. Keep, keep calm. Trust the Goat. <laughs> just, 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 just so we're clear, it was my singing that's got the people worried about me. Um, well, that's what happens when you when you score three goals at home, have three points. This is what Saturday night is all about, Colin. Happiness, and you've been saying for a while the playoffs are on. Well, they're not, not just in there. Oh, look at him—he's on the beer as well. The old Freddie Sears. The old Ooh. Freddie Sears, love it. Talk to me, Colin. How good was today? Yeah, well, I, like Peter said, and I'd like to um, reiterate what he said. I mean, it was lovely to sit next to Cox here today. And, um, the honour was all mine, Colin. No, no, no. You, you're a great bloke. And, oh, um, you do. You go on. What's your point, Colin? <laughs> oh, it is. <laughs> and uh, a little Alice, a little big shout-out for Alice today. It was her first game. She see her first goal in 42 bloody seconds. That's go. got to be some kind of record, that. Um, so... Great for her. Great for Andrew. Going back to the game, Gov. Like 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 Peter said, quite rightly, you know, we've got, obviously got the early goal and the, you know, horrendous conditions blowing down towards the North Stands, everybody said. And big shout out to Walton today. And, and the defence, to be fair. Walton had a very, very good first half. Uh, a couple of free kicks and, you know, his handling was good. Look, I'll tell you what, with it, gold dust with Kieran. I said that after about one and one and a half games. And I've got a kind of few sniggers, and qu probably quite rightly so. But I, but I could, you know, I could see a little tad there. And that tad is getting a little bit bigger. And he's doing still, you know, his persona is still so calm. And he's just his little point. And reminds you of the great man where I put the flowers today where he's pointing across the pitch. You know, does it in such a professional way. I love the bloke to bits, I tell you. And fantastic sign and Kieran was. But going back to um, going back to Walton, I thought he was first class in the first half. And uh, a lot I've said to Peter several times are about 25, 30 minutes. I'm... You know, like, like a boxer with a bell, you know. I you know, I said to Peter, I said, yeah, I'll take one nil now. Let's go in half time, you know, and see, have a little chat, um, you know, put a dry strip on and start again. Kind of, thing. of course, when we come out in the second half, all the flags were limp. Um, the sun had come out, believe it or not. Although the pitch was obviously very, very heavy, it suited town in a lot of ways because obviously they were kicking towards the North Stand, and also they were playing on a, you know, playing in decent conditions. So, mm. you know, um, it, it, it kind of worked in our favour, I would, I, I would say. Um, but um, second half, we got it down. We played some really, really good football. Our movement was very good. Look, I'm not going to single Aluko out because Aluko, uh, I, I support every player who put, pulls that blue shirt on all that goalkeeping shirt every time. I will never change 
But I'll tell you what I will say about Aluko. When, when the ball goes through there, his movement, his turn, and he's, he's, he's a yard quicker than most people in this league in his head. And he played one or two really, really superb good balls, especially in the second half. He keeps the play going. He keeps the play moving. And, it, and more importantly, Gav, he moves the play forwards more times than not, which is exactly what you need. And he always does that exquisite pass, which uh, not all the time comes off, but um, he did. And, and, I think, and I think Coxie was quite right. I think he um, and Rich, I spoke to him coming home, I think he was a little bit tired maybe at the end and... Um, Come off at about 75. Do I think he'll start Tuesday? I'm not 100% sure about that because I think maybe Selena and and Chaplin will probably get a start on Tuesday because I think this is what Kieran is doing. You know, um, he's not going to make it too yeah. obvious, obviously, because if, we, if, 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 if we're starting to notice, opposition managers will notice. So Luco might start on Tuesday night. But yeah, yeah, um, no, all, in, all in all, I mean, that second half, Rich is absolutely spot on. I mean, that could have quite easily been four, five, six, seven. It really could have been anything like that. Um, but Colin, um, uh, fantastic. Craig, 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 at, Craig at Portsmouth. He wasn't a yard quicker when put clean through at the end of the first half. Fair point. Fair point. He wasn't. Yeah. And then he fluffed the pass to Sam Morsi as well. well yeah. that, that is what we said, didn't we, Colin? We, he, he yeah. went through that. that was our only sort of down on it. You know, we, we thought of all the players on the pitch who would actually stick it right in the... Yeah. In the right place for Morsey, and he didn't. He, he fluffed that pass. That's the only downfall. Yeah. No, I, 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 I wouldn't. I would, in the circumstances, in, in the position he was in, with the amount of space he got, I'd have put me mortgage on him finding Morsey. Mm. I'd, I'd have put me mortgage on. Well, I ain't got one now, but I would have done. Oh, all right then. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver Hayes. Well, if it appears to be at a stage of evolution. It may be slower than many anticipate after the latest series of results, but it's fantastic news for the club. Colin, just so you're aware, it's Saturday night, so it is the night to play the Colin Plum drinking game if any a night was to play it. So if you do want to drop a few of the traditional names in there, the people at home are primed. They are ready. They have their drinks. Well, I've, I've, I've got mine at the ready, um, Gav. Um, I, I, went over, I went over early today and... Um, Went into reception and went into reception and had a, a lovely twenty minutes with Mr. O'Leary. Um, we did speak about the book. We had a little laugh and joke about it. Me and Mr. O'Leary. He was as nice and as a gentleman as he always is. Um, and just before that, I went to, like as you know, Gav and obviously Coxie does. I went and um, obviously put the flowers on Sir Bobby's statue. Absolutely. So, well done, yeah, for, well done for doing that. Well done for doing that. And and also and also, I, I obviously like Cubs read, read. I I wrote a little note about myself, but also put a little bit from uh, Taunton Town on there as well. So we appreciate you, Colin. We really do. Mike D. McKenna and Pert have really got them well drilled. We look so much fitter. Phenomenal job from the management team. AD says drink, absolutely. Drink to the big to, to, to the big and good man. Mike D. All good, thanks. Uh, oh, they're talking to themselves. My, my mistake. Uh, Lee Ballas, like I said, the teams around us and playoffs all play each other over the next few games. We need to keep winning and we can easily get that top four. Two pounds from can Rob I Holmes. Say, Gav, go on. Yep, yep, can go I on. just say, bef be before today's game, I was saying to Rich, before today's game, we were three, we were three to one to reach the playoffs. I'd say we were probably seven to four right now, possibly less, possibly six to four. Um, we're look, we're like I said to Rich, we're like we're like that little man down the mine, you know. Years and years ago, he keeps picking away and picking away at the coal face, but slowly but surely you get through. And I, I, I'll tell you, we have still got third. We had forty-two obviously before today. We got thirty-nine points to play for. We have now got four points to get. Look, forget about the games in hand. My father used to always say to me, it's better to have the points in the bag. And it is. Those points have not been won by those clubs. They haven't got them. They've got the games in hand, but they've not got the points. What we've got to keep in our heads is that 
you know, we're going okay. We're, we're making them, you know, um, for what of a better phrase, we're making them have dirty pants, right? And, Su and Sunderland are the first ones who are starting to get their trousers pulled down. And I'll tell you what, if, Sun if Sunderland don't pull their pull their socks up before very long. I, I said about a couple of weeks ago, I thought they were very vulnerable. I think they're even more vulnerable now. And the, and the more pressure we put on, which we can do again on Tuesday night, I think the more they slip out of this. And 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 uh, and I also think, um, go for what it's worth, I also think Wickham are catchable as well. I really believe that. Absolutely. Colin, before I let you go, I'm going to tell you very quickly, Sharon Guest says, oh, Colin, as the biggest Aluko fan, glad you are acknowledging his positivity and creative play. He is an absolute gem and only the youngsters won't appreciate him. So you've got a friend in Sharon there, Colin. Somebody else who appreciates what Aluko can really bring to the eleven. Hang on before you go, Colin. Um, Colin, you mentioned Mr. Mr. O'Leary there. Um, from our vantage point today, we made we made an observation talking about flags, and it, above oh. your above your beloved um, cobble stand, Governor. Greatest uh, stand we, in we, football. We, we usually have three flags. We have a Union Jack in the middle and two club flags. We yeah. notice, and uh, I think Mr. O'Leary or Mr. Ashton needs to pull somebody in the office on Monday morning. Yeah, one one of those flags and the one down um, which is down the. Uh, so Ralph Ramsey end was actually put on upside down. Our beloved club badge was upside down. Well, that ain't, that ain't nothing, well, Coxie. He's book Friday. I mean, you know, standards, Colin. Standards, standards. and culture. Standards. Yeah. Well, I, I can I can even go a little bit further on that because I went over early today and Peter knows what I'm going to say. The three flagpoles above the cobble stand, none of them, none of them, Oh, for obvious reasons, I would presume because of yesterday, had a flag on them. When I put the flowers on Bobby's statue, none of those poles had a flag on them. So they obviously, somebody got told to go up there and put them up pronto before the game. And they put the, the one nearest, the Ipswich one, nearest the North Stand up properly. The Union Jack was up properly. But the one near... The, the Ipswich flag nearest to Sir Ralph Ramsey stand was upside down, yeah. Was on upside down, and that is unacceptable at our standards. level. Yeah, standards. in a week of unacceptable standards and culture. Colin, yeah. we love, love you. Badge upside you are down, right. Not good. Keep calm and, the, and, and believe that will trust the goat. Look after yourself. Enjoy your day tomorrow. Lovely, thank, thank you. Man. Look after Take yourself. Take care. Love We've it. Cheers. The... Jeez. Look after yourself. We have got Lee and we have got Callie. But first, Rob Holmes, two pounds. Thank you very much, Rob. If you get sixth place, I'm looking at fourth. Only five points. Doctor, Callie's fourth or fifth might be a spot on. Well, there you go. It's a good place to bleep me in. Callie, you, you may have hit something when you said I'm looking at fourth a couple of weeks. What are you saying? Cheers, lads. Cheers. Cheers. I'm, cheers. I'm, all, I'm all out, but cheers. You know I me, mean? I don't really normally drink a lot, but I thought today... Special occasion. Let's let's bring out the beer. Let's have a little drink. Um, a good game of football. Oh yeah, for K the motherfucking Jackson. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> Put some respect on his motherfucking name. Right? Weeks of saying he's going to come good has finally shown me to be a fucking genius. <laughs> Do you know what? I just need. I mean, like we said, we need. He needed a run in the in the team, and coming off here and there, bit part little subs are all well and good, but. Playing the actual game and starting the game, that's that's what counts really. And mm. last week at Milton Keynes, he, he did everything bar score a goal really last week. And today, everything he was involved in everything, you know, goal, two, two great assists. It was that, you know, the assists for even both of them. So the first one, Aluko's just that I said the other week he doesn't really do defense splitting passes, but they did. He pulled one out of the hat mm. um and played him Caden and Caden head down, then looks up. And I think Burns volleyed it. Am I right in thinking he volleyed it, or at least was a half volley? But I think Burns volleyed it for his. Coxie? Did he? I think. Yeah. No. Was it a volley, Alex? <clears throat> was it a half volley? Then maybe I don't know. Half volley. I'll go for. I'm going to pull up on this fourth, Akali, because you said a couple of weeks ago, and I laugh, I scoff. I thought you were. Uh, so wrong. It was. It was funny that you said fourth was in play. Well, that's the league table this evening. King, 51. Oxford only five points, and in fourth. That's going to be a big game, the Oxford game. 
that is yeah. that is the let's make it a big game though first let's get to that point to make it one but you're, you're looking like you might be a genius here Callie because fourth is suddenly very very achievable I said yeah and I think we can we've been we've been good we've been blessed with a good set of fixtures if you look at our set of fixtures for uh, this month as an example you know I don't want to tempt fate in everything but I, I said it before I don't never mind I don't see us losing I think we'll win all the next couple of games Right, I think maybe the more coming the Fleetwood ones is where we will drop a couple of points, but I don't think we'll lose. We might get a few draws or something like that. But yeah, we're just gonna continue, man. And McKenna knows. I think do you know what was really good watching today. Yeah, uh, we got the goal really quick. Then they applied the pressure. We were sitting back, and then it was just like, okay, cool. It was a bit of a, a bit of a messy half for us towards the end. But then McKenna said something. I don't know what they've talked about uh, in, in the change room. They come out, and we just come out raring to go. And it was just like, right, okay, all the little mistakes, all the little niggles, everything that we're saying, oh, why have you not changed this? It actually changed. And listen, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm not quite ready to say McKenna's at the wheel. Obviously, in the heat of the moment, in it, when you're in the, when you're in the stand, you're singing along anyway. But let, let you know, one step at a time. But listen, he's he's doing it. He's doing the business. So far, and so good, yeah. Everyone looks, you know, everyone looks quality. There wasn't a player there today that you could say had a bad game. I think that's a fair assessment, right? I think everyone, even even though again I, I, he missed a sitter and he's missed a sitter before, uh, Thompson. Even he did all right, you know. <laughs> even he did all right. Like I like how you've backhandedly given him a compliment there. He, even he, even he did all well, right. Well, I'd give him a, I'd give him a, you know, a solid seven, seven and a half, right? I think all, all your back, all your back three, all, you know, solid eights. I think everyone at, like Lee Evans was at eight, Sam was at eight, eight and a half. You know, I think. Most people, are, obviously, for me, Jackson man of the match nine nine and a half. I think Sulfur score gave him nine point one anyway, and that Sulfur score, they don't wow. really give too many high ratings. No, but it was no. good. Did you, you know what I liked? See that second goal where? Uh, no, the third goal. See, I was like a little Chaplin's playing the ball, plays it to JD. JD lofts it into into Caden. Caden chests it down straight to Burns. What's he done? Straight on his bike. Right, ball goes over the top. Burns has got the quality to pick out the pass. Caden's got the pace. And then he literally laid it on a plate for Selena. That was just, that goal was perfect. And that's something where you, you know they've been in training, being like, this is what we need to do. You talk about playing to people's strengths. Caden's pace is one of those strengths. And that's what we've been doing today. We played to his strengths. The first goal was, you know, the pass from Burns, split through the defence. Caden was at the end of it. So I don't know. It was a, it was a good performance, and you know people have got to give him credit, man. I think he'll come stronger towards the end of the season now as he's starting more games. Because coming off, that's okay. But start the games now. He's got the goal. He's got the assist. That will give him some confidence. Uh, the next one is just let's see Piggott get a goal or something. He was unlucky with by hitting the post today. Nick Muller, fourth place at home, his first game in playoffs. I would rather be home at home than in the second game. But we're, we're getting yes, into the point. Yeah. We're, let's not yeah. get too crazy at this point yeah. in time. Let's just get there first before we start worrying about if we're home first or second, I guess. Graham Wesley, if Morsi could find the if Morsi could find the net, he'll be the best future football player in English football. <laughs> Craig, of course, I'm not anti Luke. The fact is, and it is a fact, that both Chaplin and Cena played in the same position, score us more goals and make more chances. Okay, hold on. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Let me hold up. up then. Let me put that up because I'm. By the way, that half time show last week, fucking yes, that was good. Uh, I just finally saw. Oh, it. The, the, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, that was brilliant. Yeah, <laughs> Epic. I've, I've had it on repeat a few times as well. <laughs> me too. Dre <laughs> just me. kills it. He just kills it. And man. he had he had he had the um he had the kind of two pack tribute when he played on he the did. piano. I had it. Yeah, yeah. It was just with, like, yeah, uh, like with Slim kneeling. Absolutely. Yes. Like Loved that. Um, Sorry, we're we'll digressing. <laughs> <laughs> Go watch it. Um, but yeah, so Aluko, like, I, I get, I get. Yeah, he, he hasn't got as many goals and assists to his name. But see what Aluko does. Like the ball sticks to his foot, and Aluko, when when he's he's one that he will quite happily, like a Selena Chaplin, not so much. But they will on the half turn take the ball, carry the ball. He runs at teams, and he does make that difference. So I, I don't know. I still. For me, I think Aluko's kind of, you know, he's just quality. I'm just worried about if we're still in this league next year, how do we replace him? Because Selena and Chaplin offer something different to Aluko. I, I if someone can find a stat, but I don't think, I don't think he gets the ball taken off him. I think the only time he gets the Who ball Aluko? taken off him, yeah, is when he's fouled. 
it's like glue. It sticks to him like glue. You can see he was a Premier League player. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Pulled up. Na, 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 and it's just like I said, <laughs> yeah. There's two. There was two. So the Gillingham one that pass that he did, and then today for the um, second goal, when he just picks up the ball in the centre circle, picks up as as a quick look up, sends Caden on his bike. What a pass that is! Chaplin ain't doing that for us. Chaplin will run at the team, and he, I get that he'll get the goals. Mm. But isn't it nice to just see the fact that we've got <laughs> we're talking about who plays now number ten, Aluko, Selina, or Chaplin? Yeah. Not a case Absolutely. of, oh, is it Hawkins and Drinnen up front? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, position lost, uh, according to Sofa Score. Connor Chaplin, 7.3. Sonny Aluko, 7.8. Ooh, I can, okay, yeah, I, I, I can do Selena as well if you, if you would like me to. First, and Selena, uh, possession lost. Da, 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 da. Snoop Dogg, uh, ten point three. So Selena loses the ball the most, with Chaplin the least. Aluko is is in that mid table. Well, table Aluko table. and Chaplin are basically the same, really, aren't they? Yeah, seven, yeah, we're, three, yeah, we're splitting. Something. Yeah, you're splitting, splitting yeah. hairs there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but Celine loses the ball. I'm not surprised that actually, Alex, to so, so hear that that Celine loses the ball the most. No, you're not because he, he take the uh, most amount of risk, you lose the most amount of ball. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, and you know, yeah, he'll try and do sometimes, it just it's, it's not going to come off. He, he'll try things, other players won't. Absolutely. Uh, King, before I let you go, Sharon comes uh, comes in with a big question. I have to challenge you on your coffee review. Tim Horton coffee, weak and dreadful. How can we now respect your full opinion? <laughs> it depends what coffee she got. I don't know what coffee you got, right? You need the proper one. We'll pattern a proper coffee for you because, listen, it's the best coffee I've had. Do Absolutely. You know what I mean? Callie. I like it. Sorry. A froze. <laughs> no, he's froze. He's it's about frozen, yeah. Okay, like, hey, yeah, we're in charge. Let's go for a ball. Okay, right, fucking all right. We're yeah, we're back. Back. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. I speak to you right. Speak to you soon, Kelly. All right, see you later, guys. Uh, in a bit, right? Uh, he, I think he's he's on the sofa. I'm not quite sure. No, he's not on the sofa. I won't fucking bring you in, then, Lee. He's not on the sofa. Come on, Sav. After a three point three goal, he's not on the sofa. Now I said when we get promoted, I'll sit on the sofa. At the moment, the bloody dog's got it. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> Although you won't say it, you, you won't call him beautiful the other week at football. No, 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 not at all. Dig not at bloody all. Bloody old, bloody dog. Um, how did you see it today? Because I know what Colin said about, you know, the teams that are, are above us, that they've got to get those points. But I'm looking at Oxford. Same amount of games. That's who I'm hunting down. Who are you looking at? Are you with Colin in the sense of, you know, yes, Wickham have got, have got a game in hand. We've got to win that game in hand. Or are you, you know, with me? Which, 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 who, who, who are you sort of looking at in that league table? Well, I think we chase more. But first of all, can I just say, I'll raise a glass to Bobby. Love it. Absolutely. I haven't got anything left in my glass, but yeah, I'll, I'll raise it. Sorry. I just want to do that. Dog's up now as well. So, um, yeah, I think we're chasing... I think we're chasing the 80 points. That's what I think we should chase. And we should we should uh, concentrate on, on that. But I think... That's really opening up. And even, in, as you said earlier, MK Dons aren't safe, are they? And that is starting to really tighten up. At, you know, there's about, there's nine teams now involved. And you could even, nine with Bolton as well, maybe. Because Bolton will still fancy their chances. And I think we're chasing, well, any of them. But I think, you know, if Sunderland keep the way they're going, they're going to they're gonna keep dropping out. You know, um, Wickham maybe as well. But we thought the same with um, Plymouth, didn't we? You know, we thought Plymouth were going to drop out and fade away, but they're they're actually. If you look at the last six, I think I think they got more points than we have. So uh, yeah, they've won yeah, four I, of the last I five think, and drawn the other one. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So I think at the last six, I think they've they've sort of stretched on us a bit. So you know, we're chasing everybody, but I think the Oxford. I'm always one that looks at the next game, and you know, you play to try to get to eight, eighty points, two point two five points a game, whatever, but. We've got to get at least four points out of Oxford and Plymouth. We can't afford to lose to either of those, I don't think, when it comes to the grand scheme of it. Because if we're yeah. going to catch into the top six, we can't afford to drop points to those two. If we're going to lose a game, let's lose to Rotherham. It's got to be Rotherham and Wigan, isn't it? The, the, the two games we really, if you are going to slip up, slip up with. Because they're the two that have been by far the better teams in the division. 
if we are to lose two games, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to lose. Obviously, we wouldn't no, want me to neither, lose no. Games, but, but I think uh, they're the games that I think, you know, those those two two games. So I think we're chasing them, but let's just chase the points tally. And if it and if it means we don't get there till the last game of the season, you know, we get in the playoffs at the last game of the season. I think so because I've got a feeling that last game there's going to be four teams, four or five teams. You could be sitting in fifth, and you could at the start of the final final day of the season, and you could not be guaranteed a place in the playoffs. I think it's going to be that. I think it's going to be that tight. You can see it just really starting to close up. Um, so, so yeah. So I, I, I think we're chasing. I think we're chasing those, and we really need to be winning those. But you know. We're different gravy now, aren't we, under McKenna? I mean, let's be honest. We're different, different, different team. Um, you know, we got the early goal today. And to be fair, I thought Burton were pretty decent first half. Mm. And I thought they had a lot of the play and a lot of the game was in front of the North stand. I I would like to see the first half uh, possession stats and where the game was played because I felt it was played in our half of the pitch. A lot, and we were and we were we and we were counter attacking a lot first half. So credit to them. Um, the early goal has got to help. In a, I mean, if you're getting a goal at home, I mean, how many times this season we sat there and thought it's nil nil? They're playing. They're time wasting after five minutes. But if you're one up inside forty five seconds, then that's a, a totally different game. And Burton have got to come out at some point, and we can and we can catch them on the counter. But second half. I think we really dominated second half, particularly after they made their subs and looked to really try to force the game a bit more. That just left the gaps, and we were just and we were superb. And hats off to Caden Jackson. You know, I've not been his greatest fan. I've always said, you know, that he should leave the club. But as a lot of people have said, he's been played out of position before yep. he got to. You know, before McKenna's here, McKenna is quality in what he does. You know, he's got everyone involved. And he's playing players to suit the situation of the game. So, if anybody says, well, what's your best striker? We haven't got a best striker. We've got four strikers that are all slightly different, that are all best on a certain day. And I think that's, I think that's what's, what, what he's instilled in the, in the team and in, in the players. Because, you, well, you can quite see it. I mean, Jackson playing right wing for us before, wasted. We've said that. And I think I've said, you know, he should move on if he's not getting played in his proper position. But today, hats off to him. And, it, you know, the to pick the two, particularly the third goal, to pick that pass out for Selena was was a real, really good. Because Burns had been in those positions three or four times, particularly second half maybe. And he was fizzing them across, really more in hope for someone to get on. But you just really felt that Jackson knew where he wanted Selena to run onto that ball. And it was, you know, a great, a great third goal. And how we didn't score any more, I don't, you know, it could have been six or seven. Absolutely six right. Seven. As you're here, let's run through the team. Give them some points for the day. Um, you can kick us off, actually, Lee. Christian Walton, out of ten, how did you view his performance today? He's an eight every week, isn't he? Eight every week. He 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 is the beginning. He's the linchpin of the team at the moment in terms of. We're solid at the back. Um, I don't. I don't fear nothing. I don't, with him in goal, we just we just look so solid. And I think it all starts with him. The conf, the, the back three, five, whatever you want to call them, they're confident in in him. Even if he doesn't hardly touch the ball, he's. I know it sounds strange, but he's seven eight every week. But I thought he was eight today. He made some crucial saves at a crucial time, and uh, yeah, eight eight for me. Okay, like that. I'm getting you, 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 Enrique Iglesias hero sort of song vibes as you were talking about Christian Walton there. I can well, be well, your I think hero, we talked about golf. baby. He's well, singing again. Well, we've talked about, I can I push you... away the pain. Bloody I mean, you tweeted the other day about, about Bart and everything and, and it is and, you know, a goalkeeper and I, I think I tweeted something like, um, you know, he's he's Bart's been a great goalkeeper since someone or the other but I think Walton will eclipse Bart. I think he will but I... I he he might not be quite so spectacular, but I think that's because he's got a bit more uh, positional sense. And I think where he'll he'll end up better than Bart is because he can catch. A, he's better commanding his his box. I think that was that was always Bart's 
weakest area of his of his game. Ex but, except sorry. for one cross in the first half where he completely got got lost. But that's just me because I'm, I'm a but big part. Well, well, that's well, that's 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 one. But you know, I'm like we, we've, we've got, got a safe one down. That made the list. Safe, we've got a safe pair of hands. I you know he's coming to the fore now and he's got a good solid back five in front of him, which is helping him. And that Absolutely. always helps any goalkeeper, doesn't it? You know, it does. You have to forgive so, me in my singing this evening, guys. It's not, you know, I've, I sit through a lot of shite games and shite performances and shite results and do a lot of negative shows. Forgive me if I want to have a fucking good time for once. <laughs> it's not often we get these moments. Uh, JD, Coxie. The Don, yeah, it's a solid game. It's a good thing about our. Our, our back three is that they're not getting mentioned. Usually, sort of defenders get mentioned when they make mistakes, and they're, they're not making that many mistakes. So, a good solid seven for the Don for me. Seven. All right. I like that. Alex, give me some love for the Wolf. How good was he today? I'd say he's eight and a half. You know, he's, he's, come, he's come in, he's made that position his own, and he just he's just looking like the player we knew he could be. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I thought you, I thought you led the line really well. I, I actually think it was a nine, but eight and a half, fair play. You're, 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 you're uh, cool. I, I, I think you got not a half. But I'm not too sure about the M and M bleach blonde hair. No, no, no. I did actually. That's the first thing I wrote down of the in my game notes tonight was Wolfie hair in the bin. <laughs> Very first thing I wrote down. I imagine Tony Adams seeing that hair and thinking, "What the fuck?" Um, <laughs> modern day football, modern day centre ass, you know. Um, Edmondson. Rich on the radio, didn't he? Rich did he? I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. 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 Listen to Rich. Stuff like, did, yeah. It was funny, really, because he talked a lot of sense. That, that was Rubbish. <laughs> he did. He did. I hate to say You're it. getting him confused with Danny. Um, anyway, sorry. Alex, Alex, Eddie, Edmondson. Eddie. Fridge. Seven and a half. He wasn't as good. At, I, I, I think, you know, you can't, I wouldn't say he was as good as Wolfman and gave Wolfman an eight. So I think seven and a half, he didn't do anything wrong. He was assured. He was what you come to expect from the fridge. So okay. he took that one and he took that one in the face first half, didn't he? Yes, he did. He oh, took that one in the car. Yeah. Dear me. And he's just stood up as if I didn't even touch him. Go. It's a man's yeah. game. Uh, Where's <laughs> Burns in front of his parents today? And oh. Took his goal well. Um, a seven for me. It looked really dangerous, but he got in some real good crossing positions and just overhit them. Yeah, I think today, I, I he 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 was such a threat. He took his goal. Not quite. I thought he knocked it in originally when I saw it live. He knocked it into the ground and it bounced over the goalkeeper. But when you watch it, I think Callie posted um, earlier. I've not I've not seen the a good sort of video of it yet. But it almost looked like he side footed it. But it took a bit of a loop, so it looks like it went into the ground to me. It was like a half body bouncer, but he took his he he took his goal well. Was a threat all the time, but I think um, just those those crosses that he's normally been putting in for McCauley Bond to to slot home, he he just overhit those. So so a seven for me. Agreed. Seven. Uh, Thompson Coxie. Um, I'm going to give him. A six. You know, in a three did, nil home win. He did. Uh, he didn't have a bad game, but uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, yeah, I am going to probably... have to press the not often used govs over rule button. <clears throat> no chance. A six and a three nil win, Coxie. Alex, Alex is, uh, sorry, sorry. Can I just come? Because yeah, of course you can. I think Coxie's a little bit right. I, I sort of agree with Coxie a bit because yeah, he's on. growing <laughs> into the. He's growing into the team and he's getting better, but he's not burst past anybody yet. And I think he's got in some really good positions where he's just not he's just not taken that on. So defensively, really solid against that that um, angled ball over the top where they're mm. trying to win throw in so they can throw the ball in the goal. So I think defensively, he's really he's always like a seven for me, and he he's got good recovery. But he just wants to turn back every time he gets the ball on the wing, and and you just want, you know, what we say about Matt Penny. Penny will just he looks to go forward and go past somebody or or drive for the line. I just think that's lacking in in um, in Thompson's game, and, you know, game yeah. and he's not 
and he's not the Thompson of that we all know about, is he? He's not Billy the Fish. So you you said he's normally always a seven, but you're going to give him a six. I said it's, he's a seven defensively, but he's a six offensively, and he's a wing back, which means he's got to be as off, more offensive than defensive. So should we so meet I in the middle and say six, six and a half? Should we, should we meet in the middle and say six and a half? No, I don't do halves. There's there's no such thing as half. I don't get this right in halves. He's not a half measures man. He's They're, not a half. Halves are cop outs. Half half is cop out. All right, we don't do cards on this show, out. so he's going to get a seven. Uh, Sharon Guest over here, possibly due to forty mile an hour winds. Uh, yeah, don't worry, Mike. We'll get to we'll get to we'll, 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 we'll get to James Norwood's second diabolical finish in as many weeks. Um, Sam Morsey, Alex. Eight. Eight. I, I, okay. I, I'd give him an eight. You know, he's a. He, you've got you got to give him an extra point. Just not getting carded today. Yeah. Yeah. True. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. In fact, he's the one coming Lee Evans down. Uh, Lee Evans, Coxie. Um, Lee Evans. I'm going to give him a seven. Um, he 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 needed to be a bit careful with the um conditions today. He did sort of. I mean, Colin and I said, oh, my God, he could get sent off here when he sort of scissor kicked, you know, but lucky enough, the, the, the referee wasn't diabolical at that time and, uh, you know, I guess gave him a bit of a talking to. He did get booked after that. Um, Lee Evans did clear the ball off the line. You know, he when, did, he when, did. Yeah, yeah, he did do it when he was there at that particular moment. So, yeah. I would give him, I'd, I would have given him, have given him an eight. You're going to give him a seven. I respect yeah. that. I'd give him an eight. I thought, I thought it was a real linchpin today. I thought a lot of what was good came from Lee Evans, both being tactically disciplined, but also, well, good at recycling the ball. Sonny Aluko, Lee. He looked a bit of a threat. I, I, my heart is always in my mouth when we play, when we play through the lines and he's trying to turn. I think he got caught. I think he got caught once and that's, that's not, not me being negative, but I just, yeah, that pitch wasn't great for that today. He's trying to turn, but, yeah, I mean his pass for Jackson for the second goal um, is is fantastic. And did, was wasn't it him that put the one through before for Penny? Didn't he do something similar to Penny when Penny went running on down the wing wing a few weeks Ginningham. ago? At Ginningham, did, yes. Did he not? So so he's got he's got form for that. So I think he's I think he's good. I again, I mean, I, perhaps I'm just a seven. You know, perhaps I'm just sitting on the fence too much. But you know, he didn't do he didn't do anything. Too fantastic. I mean, the ball out to Jackson, you know, it wasn't like a defence splitting ball. He had lots of space to play it into, and Jackson still had a lot of work to do. So, I think he's a, I think he's a solid seven, a solid okay. seven. And again, I think someone mentioned earlier, he's, he's just not that real goal for it, is he? You would, you, you know, you'd, you'd want. I, I think he didn't, didn't he have one shot? I think that was quite tame or something. But you would, you, you would want him to be, you know a bit more thunderous with his shots. I mean, the goals he scored have been a bit scrapers as well, haven't they? But mm. yeah, seven okay. and, and uh, yeah, we need him next season. 33, but yeah, seven. Um, Piggott, Coxie. Oh, bless him. Yeah. Um, yeah, Pat, I'd have, to, I'd have to agree with that. I think Alex, Alex is right there. He is trying too hard. You know, he's, he's not getting the rub of the green, but then, Neither was Caden Jackson today. It sort of came good. So perhaps he needs a run of games. Perhaps he needs, uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, seven, seven. All right. I like that. Yeah. I can play. I can't, I can see why. Can't you, Alex? Seven's a fair result for, for, yeah, for Joe. Yeah. Exactly what I was going to say. You know, he, he did his job. Yeah. He didn't get the, he didn't get the, he didn't get the goal. But I think without him, in that team, you maybe wouldn't have seen Caden getting the space that Caden was getting in. Yeah, mm. you know that that is the thing. And f- f- for me, I, I think if I, if I'm Kieran McKenna, I would say give give Joe another go, give those two another, put those two together again on Tuesday, and see if we have got a, like a partnership that can form there. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Completely agree. Really do. Jackson, I'm not even going to put a man in the match poll in, in, in the in the chat tonight because it's just it's just silly to, to, to I think. Um Jackson for you, Alex, out of ten. Nine. 
Yeah, completely no. agree with that. Just what can you say that hadn't been said about Caden Jackson, really? It's, a, it's, a, it's amazing. Sorry, sorry, Alex, off you go. Sorry, mate. You, you, you couldn't have asked him to do any more than what he'd done, you know. He, he he came in like even like last week, you know, and everyone was like, I'll, "I'll admit, I was shocked. I was even shocked today when I saw he got the start again today." Mm. But you, you can't ask him to do any more than what he's done. Um, he, he's he's in that same vein as I would say, Gano Dinassian. You know, no one thought Gano Dinassian was going to be anywhere near this first team at the start of the year, and he's coming in and and just. You know, and you could say the cadence on the start of that journey now. We now about the development, so you can't ask him for any more than what we've done over the last two games. You really can't. No, I agree, absolutely agree. Uh, James B, good to have a Saturday night show. Thank you very much, James. I appreciate that. Don't forget, you can support us through YouTube. Become a member today, James. Uh, Lee, I've saved the best one for you, James Norwood. <laughs> and wonderful. Did he, is it does he deserve does he deserve a score um if he does then probably a five you know i just, I just watched about the finish really oh the finish well he just had too much time didn't he he had too much oh, time. oh that's what it was that's no 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 it was yeah no i mean it was a bad miss um but the only good a good thing the goalkeeper he closed him down quite quickly but yeah he you know if that's the end of the game and we need that to win you know it's um yeah, I mean, he should score, shouldn't he? Um, so, absolutely, a bad miss, a bad miss from him. But you know, he's getting ten minutes on. But you know, it's not about one player, really, is it? And um, but yeah, that you know, as the James Norwood Appreciation Society, you know, <laughs> you 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 can't defend the indefensible. He he'll know he's missed a, a golden chance. Um, it just, I I think it just as the ball came across to him, it just almost looked too easy. I think. Maybe a first time shot, maybe didn't give the that's easy to say when we're not seeing it. But I think that was the only thing their goalkeeper did all day was to close that down. Because he yeah. was short, you know, he you know, was he at fault for the first goal? Could he have done better? I know the no, it, it was a good finish. Pitch a bit. Good it was, a, it was in the court, it was in the corner, yeah. Yeah, in yeah. Corner, yeah. But I mean if you know, like Mike Brown said, that one that um I can't remember who scored against us the other week where he he blamed Walton for not saving it. Um that was one that he reckon yeah. trickled over the line type thing, but he was only like 12 yards out. Jack or 14, 15 yards out. Jackson was like 22 yards out. But yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. All yeah, right. Definitely. Um, Z twist. Jackson and Willie, uh, Willie done well, uh, done nothing wrong today. Class. James B is actually one of life's winners because he is in the TT fifth stand. He's one of the ultras on Kofi. James, we love you. Appreciate you. Thank you ever so much. One of life's winners is old James B. Uh, the good doctor, YouTube member. Oh, Lord, my mistake. Definite. What's, what, what, that's a private conversation. Don't know what's going on there. Uh, Ronnie, I personally <laughs> think... <laughs> I personally think Jackson had a quality game. They're like different players today. Peace looks completely devoid of any confidence at all. Uh, yeah, as Alex, you, you were saying earlier. Right, last two players before we close the, the show down. We have got Selena. Coxie. Okay, big game, Bursan. Yeah, well, well he, he, yeah, I, I was going to say he, he took his goal well, and you now he wasn't on that. I don't know, was he on 10, uh, 20 minutes? Yeah, so I'm giving him a six. Give him a six. Yep, fair play. And Alex, last but certainly not least, Connor Chapman. <laughs> Six, because only because he didn't in the time he was on, he didn't do a huge amount to sort of warrant anything high. So I think if you're going to give Norwood a five, you've got to give Connor a six, and that's not a bad reflection on Connor. But he didn't just he didn't have long enough today to sort mm -hmm. of impact himself on the game like he normally would do. So you can't go give him giving him a seven and this that, and the other because he was not long enough to sort. Of, I would even say you know was he on long enough to get rated? Probably not. Fair enough. All right. Take that. Right. We are back tomorrow, 1 30 for Talking Town, the flagship Sunday podcast. Uh, we will leave you tonight with the, the wonderful man who um, is on every available media, media for hire. He is, of course, the cruncher. Have a good Multi night. Multimedia Moss, yeah. Multimedia Moss, yeah, absolutely. Don't forget to support us through Ko fi, like the 
good guy James B does, or become a YouTube member like the good doctor, Lloyd, and many others. Uh, but we'll see you tomorrow. Lee, thank you. Alex, thank you. Coxie, thank you. Here's guys. Uh, here is Cruncher. Have a Later. great night. We'll see you bump. tomorrow. Road just out the ground. What do you reckon to that, Archie? 3 0 to the town. Um, very good. I thought Jackson was man the match. I thought the, the early goal um, really helped the crowd, really helped the players to get them going. And yeah. Martin's favourite player, Caden Jackson. Uh, 45 seconds. He's last league goal. I looked, it was December 2020 away at Plymouth. So uh, I thought Caden today, he um, he's really benefiting from uh, obviously played well last week and another good performance today he's nailed on to start Tuesday you know he got a goal two assists run the channels really well and pace absolutely killed Burton Albion who <laughs> I couldn't believe that the high line that they were playing literally one defender back on the halfway line um, for first half he scored that early goal and then Burton come into the game they had Quite a lot of set pieces, didn't they, Archie? With long throw-ins. Yeah. Um, Lee Evans, obviously, great header off the line. Um, should have been, yeah, if it was one all, it would have been. It beat Christian Walton all ends up. And then Walton done a good save from a free kick. Um, and then he's done another one just after from the corner, yeah. Cleared that away. Um, second half, I thought we come out, took the game by the scruff of the next. Second goal killed it, didn't it? When. Um, Caden um, set up West Burns. It was a bit of a scuffed sort of finish into the ground over the goalkeeper. And then uh, Jackson with another assist, Archie. Yeah. For uh, Burst and Selena, Matt Phillips, your favourite player off the bench today, made a difference with his fifth of the season. That was West Burns' ninth. And I thought all round second half, really, Archie, it could have been what, five, six? Five, six. Really? It Norwood was... should have scored. Oh, James yeah. Norwood. James yeah. Norwood. Should have actually, should have abs oh my god, Norwood, what were you doing? Should have buried it, shouldn't he? Yeah, hit it first time, yeah, all you got to do. But I thought second half, um, it was really men against boys, and um, it showed that we are, yeah, we're on the way still. I think, is it four points tonight? I think, Arch, yeah, we're still, but eight points off still, um, obviously, we've played more games, but we just got to keep winning as many games as we can. Uh, Cheltenham again Tuesday should be a nailed on three points I would have thought there um, right we go over here to Elliot yeah where are we man of the match today Elliot I'll say Kane Jackson Caden Jackson yeah what do you think yeah really good what do you reckon for Tuesday Just keep him in the team keep him in the team yeah good little bit there from Elliot yep keep him in the team Archie yep um, for Christian Walton solid again um, Luke Wolfenden again didn't put a foot wrong. Um, I thought it was a good team performance. You know, if Burton scored that goal to make it one all from the corner, it could have been a different game. But then second half, it really, it should have been, well, it should have been five or six, a bit better finishing. Um, but yeah, great. Uh, three points, McKenna. I think that's 22 points from his first 30 available. Uh, he can't really do a lot else, a lot more else, a uh, lot else. Uh, another clean sheet. But yeah, that is.